Welcome to The Published Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. Today, we are here with another Tale of the Saints. That's it. That's what I'm doing on my day off. <laughs> you don't even need to be early. You don't even need to be early modern. There's no there, there's no time discrimination here. Think of the crowds that gather to see Padre Pio Stigmata. People love miracles. Look, I am just going to say that if the monastery was having issues because people kept coming by to see the amazing floating monk, um, that You're perhaps saying now they, they'd have like T-shirts, see the amazing floating. Monk. Look, I'm just saying that perhaps they were not. Uh, Adequately taking advantage of this gift of God, uh, of this gift of God's providence that came their way to help them provide for the needs of the monastery. <laughs> well, listen, man, I'm trying to enjoy my perfectly dry, unfruitful prayer life, and this guy keeps floating in ecstasy, <laughs> communing with God. It's very distracting. No, no, that would be totally distracting. I, I, I'm not thinking of you know like him in the middle of mass where you're sitting there and then it's all of a sudden you just sort of see him, or just in chapel. But no, you know, no, it's, it's, just, you know, but like you know, mm -hmm. you, you have a you have a separate little you have a separate little like ward set up where where people can come in and they can see him when he's when he's <laughs> levitating like a sideshow, thruppence a piece. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was Italy, so it, well, it was it was the papal states, but you know, I don't know what they use for money, florins, yeah. guilders, lira. I know that that was later, yeah. Yeah, later. I mean, maybe that might have been before too. You know. <laughs> anyway, but still, you know, a, a, a threepence to come in and see the amazing floating monk. <laughs> Let's keep the line moving, folks. Come on, we, we got a lot of people that want to come in and see the floating monk. All right, because they did not think of the marketing abilities of this merchandising. Merchandising. He, merchandising. he was not allowed to attend choir. Eat with yep. the others, or say mass in the actual church. Yep. Well, I, I, I see that. I see the the, 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 the viewing line. Mm -hmm. I see tunics that are branded with. I went to go see the amazing floating monk, and all I got was this tunic. <laughs> all right, so we're assuming these Franciscans are at least pursuing holiness, unlike <laughs> Nate's pursuit of profit. But yes, no, 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 <laughs> not profit. We're just, just, just looking, revenue. We're just, just <laughs> revenue. This is a non-profit establishment. We're just working on, you know, keeping the keeping the lights on, the monks fed, and, and providing for the need of the community around us, both in spiritual and material needs. Okay. The, the, the honeyed words that lead to perdition. <laughs> All right. At least some of them were concerned about it on a spiritual level, because yeah. at one point he was brought before the Italian Inquisition, yeah. because they're like... He keeps floating around. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> well, it, it is a possibility. We are told to test every spirit, so it's possible, sure. And then he spent most of his rest of his life being moved from one house to other of the various connected orders. So mm -hmm. it wasn't all the, the, the same Franciscans, but, you know, from one to another of Franciscan-based orders. <laughs> At that time, there were, like, three Franciscans. He, he, you could count them, you know. It wasn't the, there's 50 million orders of Franciscans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he already hit all three major flavors. Mm-hmm. The conventuals, the capuchins, and the OG. Yes. So, go down below to the comments section and tell us what you think of the cap uh, of the story of St. Joseph of Cupertino. Do you think them? Do you think like me that maybe the monks should have seen this as an opportunity to to <laughs> make some bank for God, to 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 take advantage of the goodness that is God in, in, in advancing their works? Um, maybe you maybe you think like Mike and Jess that I am clearly on the road to hell, and and, and capitalism will be that will be the thing that leads me there. Well, do you think that the other monks? were being reasonable in their suspicions of St. Joseph. Oh, no, no, that's totally reasonable. I mean, some guy just suddenly starts levitating around you, and he, as much as you're like, you know, would you cut that out? He just, it just keeps happening. <laughs> I, I'm horribly concerned that for some reason they had a giant room that at the top there had a fan that, I don't know, like a donkey <laughs> costume. <laughs> like the original Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> and they're like, he has to be down! He's gonna hit the fan! <laughs> I always like the story that, you, that that they tied ropes to him to like anchor him to the ground so he could levitate, but only this far. <laughs> Bernardo, did you leave the window open? Yeah, he might float away. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But in all seriousness, go down below to the comment section and share with us your thoughts on the story of St. Joseph of Cupertino. Uh, share with us other saints that you would like us to talk about because it is clear that people want us to tell the stories of saints. Or, you know, go down below and tell us something that we didn't talk about that you'd like us to discuss. Maybe, maybe you want more donkeys in the story. Maybe, I'm sure there were donkeys involved. <laughs> maybe you'd like our thoughts on whether or not aliens can be baptized or <laughs> what colonies on Mars mean for, you know, the, the, the new heaven and earth after, after the end of time. Nate, Jess, and Mike's mysterious world? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying he's I mean, in charge of astronauts. It'll be a lesser mysterious world, but so space questions are valid because totally astronauts. Valid. <laughs> yeah. The answer to Joseph of Cupertino or the Bishop of Orlando. <laughs> While you're down there, go and hit the like button, the bell, the subscribe button, and the bell next to that, so you'll get notified when new episodes come out. And until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. And share, share that, that love. love. And always tie down your floating loved ones. <laughs> But seriously, it's just good sense. Look. Use that knot like you use for, for the, the balloons on the kids. You know, you, you can loosen it up, but it's not going anywhere. <laughs> if God gives you lemons, you make lemonade. If God gives you a lemon orchard, mm. you open a lemonade stand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. I gotcha. Totally reasonable. The important thing is they've got they've got some lay guy who who's mucking out stables. They they gotta pay him for his weight. They got you know. I'm not saying they don't have reasonable. Hours. I'm not saying they don't have reasonable expenses. I'm concerned about the effect that displaying the flying priest would have on the spiritual disposition of the gawkers. Mm. See, and I'm just wondering if he became a Carmelite, which kind would he be? Because he was a shoemaker, but a bad at it. <laughs> Salted. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there 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 are calced Carmelites. <laughs> The discalced is a reform branch, and even they, discalced is an exaggeration. I've seen them. They wear sandals.